Ida, I'm 19 years old and I have four tattoos. Uh, I'm Alex Myers and I'm 23. Uh, one large tattoo and then I have a silly little stick and poke on my foot. Uh, my name is Matthew Hanna, I'm 22 years old and I have approximately 15 tattoos. Uh, I'm Andrew McGinnis, I am 18 years old and I have uh, like over 22 tattoos. But I guess you knew that. I got my first tattoo actually just a couple months ago, so I've still been 23. And it is a pocket watch with flowers and there's gears interlocking. And then there's a hourglass here with a plant on the bottom and water on the top. I was 18. It was my 18th birthday actually that I got it. I left school at lunchtime to go get them. Um, was, I got two of them. Uh, I got this one first on my wrist and then I got my other one on my page. I was 14 I think when I got my first tattoo and I got this little East Coast hardcore circle on my arm. Well, I wasn't a big fan of in the Glasgow Mall so my mom said like, what do you want? And I was like I want a tattoo. I was 17, and it was a old school uh, swallow from a skin clown. The most painful spot I've been tattooed so far is definitely my ribs. I just started getting my ribs done like back in August, I think it was. The first time was all right. I think it wasn't as bad at first, and then like maybe 20 minutes in, I was like, ah, it sucks. And then we went back into like the lower part of my ribs, and I, that was like, that's horrible. I sat through like my chest and had to like sit on the floor while I had my chest done and get tattooed because the bed wasn't good. And that wasn't even really as bad as my ribs. Uh, the most painful spot I've gotten tattooed would probably be the ribs. Um, the elbow doesn't feel very high, they're in lost or something. The most painful spot was definitely right in there. That sucked a lot. Or in around here. Yeah, or in the elbow. The elbow definitely sucks. My wrist, for sure. That hurt. Like. <laughs> I like a variety of different styles of tattoos. I think it depends on the it's something that's just simplistic, I guess. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say I have a particular style. I do like uh, traditional kind of stuff. I don't much like Japanese, but I mean, it's art. It's all art. You like what you like, so. I kind of like all sorts of styles. My particular go-to would be an old school Sailor Jerry style. That's what my whole left arm is based off of. But I really like uh, re realism. I'm not too big on the portrait style. But... Um, my favorite style, tattoo-wise, would definitely be American traditional style tattooing. I really like well, an old school look. One that has a lot of meaning is uh, the bottom half of my arm here. I've got like, uh, owls, the wise old owl, as my mother walked me down with uh, a heart lock that she used to have around her neck. And then I got three feathers for her, my brother and I. Um, and then my brother and I have magic tattoos as well. It's a senior heart that we got from when I was 17, just because we played a lot of music together. Um, every single one of my tattoos, I guess, has a meaning. Um, my foot tattoo says Wanderlust with a little compass. Um, growing up, I was really lucky to travel a lot with my dad and my mom. Um, and it, I actually cut the tattoo with my dad. Um, so I like the story even more than I like the tattoo, to be honest. This tattoo is just kind of, it's a rose, so it just kind of signifies growth from that, that I'm not that person anymore. And I'm, I've become a lot stronger. Also, my dad is a really important person in my life. He's helped me get through a lot. And whether it be for birthday, Valentine's Day, or whatever, he always gave me a rose. Um, because my favorite cartoon growing up was Beauty and the Beast. So, it's kind of got a few different meanings there. Um, 
definitely think if I had to pick any of them that have meaning to me or the most meaning, I have one here on my arm. It's like a coffin, a little flower on the bottom, and some leaves around the side. Um, I had just been seeing it on the internet one day. It was just like a flashcard that a friend had like drawn on the internet, and I really, really liked it. I don't think I always wanted it, and I never really had any purpose to get it. And then just like a year ago or so, a friend of mine had passed away, and it just kind of it seemed to fit. The meaning behind my tattoo was um, a couple summers ago, uh, both my parents got diagnosed with cancer, and then I kind of drew something up, and then I just kind of left it for a number of years, and then after they both bet it, I was like, you know what, I'm probably just going to get that tattooed on me. And the flowers kind of represent my mom. Mother Nature, basically. And the gears are my dad because he's Mr. Fixit. He's like a genius when it comes to that stuff. And the pocket watch is my grandfather, who I never met, but he was a fixed pocket watch. He's just like my dad fixed pretty much anything. And the hourglass was just an addition. I thought it was cool.